Hey guys, um, I'm in my yard because I got a drink and I'm not allowed to have drinks in my room other than water. And I don't want my siblings to hear what I'm talking about today. So we're here. A reusable straw. Save the planet. Save the planet, I say, as I get a plastic cup. I'll figure out a way to reuse it. Hopefully. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. My, my phone is probably going to fall a billion times because I'm leaning it on my umbrella thing on my table. Um, ah, oh, dang it, I forgot to change my shirt. Whatever, I'll just block my school name up from it when I edit. Um, anyways, if you haven't noticed by the video, I'm not very happy right now. I had the title of the video. Not very happy right now. Um, and to preface, I know it's not all guys, okay? I'm just talking about these guys in particular. But anyways, y'all gotta stop being creepy. Like, I know I'm making, like, I feel like I'm sounding, like, very lighthearted, but this is serious. I'm serious. Stop being creepy. Oh my goodness. Sheesh. Anyways, so, what sparked this today? I went to the, this happened, like, literally five minutes ago. Like, this is when I went out to get this. I had three packages to ship, and so I went with my, my siblings to the post office. It's like a block away. Um, and there were a lot of people for whatever reason, because I guess quarantine just doesn't exist anymore. But then again, who am I to say since I also went out with my sisters, siblings. Um, anyways, that's beside the point. I'm going on tangents. Um, and this old dude very noticeably looked at me. I was I'm wearing shorts. This is what this is what I'm wearing. See, these are, these are the shorts. It has, it has Snoopy on them. My mom got them for me. Okay? My mom got them for me. So I think I'm okay with wearing them. Um and it's summer, it's like 80 degrees. I think I could wear shorts. And this old guy decided to l noticeably look at my uh, thighs and then did that to look at my butt in front of my siblings. Nika I don't think noticed because they had um, headphones in and they were looking at their uh, phone. Hola. Hopefully she didn't notice, but like, come on, she's freaking seven. I don't, I really don't need her to see how um, old guys look at the 17 year old girl's rear end. Okay. This isn't the first time though, in general. So I guess I'm gonna make like a little story time. Of all the times guys were creepy. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to do it in chronological order, but that's probably gonna fail. Should have probably made a list beforehand, but you know, I, as I said, this happened just now. Like I literally got into the house, I washed my hands, and I was like, bye guys, I'm gonna make a video right now. Yes. First time someone was creepy. First grade. I didn't, when I was in first grade, I didn't realize this was creepy until like I remembered it. Um, I was at a party with my mom at her friend's party because her friend built like an apartment building thing and so, and it was finished so they were, she was having like a big party to celebrate and my mom brought me. Um, and I remember like this, this older man decided to like dance with me. I didn't see anything weird because I was in, I was I was six and I was just like okay this is just a party and we dance and my mom immediately grabbed me from her and I was like oh okay like you know in retrospect now I see that's kind of creepy like why why would you do that 
Um, I don't know who this man is. I don't remember how he looked like. I just know he was Polish. Don't know his name. Don't know. I think he probably had blue eyes, honestly, but I don't really remember. So, sorry. Can't say anything about that. Let's see. Second time. I, I have everything in my mind. I'm just trying to, like, rem remember what happened first. I think this happened first. This was seventh grade. I was 12. I remember what I was wearing. I was wearing a pink shirt. Um, I was wearing blue jeans. And I had my glasses on and my rolly backpack. Because I had a rolly backpack because my backpack was always heavy and my mom did not want me to carry it. So I would have it on a rolly... Uh, I had a rolly backpack. Everyone hated me for it. Oh well. I had to listen to my mom. Like, gosh mom, you care about my spine so I won't have to de deal with surgery when I'm older? How dare you? <laughs> Anyways, um, beside the point, I was 12, hair around this length, glasses, like, I, I probably have a picture of me with glasses when I was 12, pink t-shirt, and blue jeans, with my rolly backpack, so, very middle school, typical middle school girl, um, and I remember I was walking home, I was about to um, I was walking home and I was about to like cross an intersection um, and this guy from his car whistled at me at a 12 year old girl I know and guess what as I said I was wearing jeans I was covered except m this part of my arm Gosh, I guess I, show, I was showing too much skin. Mm, bro. Even if I was showing skin, they don't have a right to freaking do that. I'm not saying, I'm just I'm just trying to like, use that excuse as like, oh, you're showing too much skin. Like, I'm trying to like, say like, mm, no. Then this was, I don't remember this happened before that time or after that time, but it happened in seventh grade. I remember we were, it was recess. I was with my friend. I don't know if she remembers this. But we were at recess, and this boy came up from behind me and like pinched my uh, butt. And I turned around to see who it was, and it was just like this kid, and he's my age, obviously. Um, he was my age. I mean, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, I'm over explaining again. Um, and he just smirked at me and I, I didn't know what to do. I just like turned back around and, I was, and then I continued talking with my friend. It was weird. Um, next time was in eighth grade by this other kid on Snapchat. You know like those, um, it, it was like those stupid things. It's like pick a number from one to 10 and I'll ask you a question. Um, I remember what number I picked, I picked a nine. And I didn't know this, but nine was to send nudes. I'm not gonna send nudes to a kid I sit next to earth science with that I don't talk to other than that. And also, as a 13, 14 year old, I, I would never send nudes in general. What you doing, puppy? What you doing? Anyways, and I was like, if he blocked me, so I could screenshot them if I have it. It was on Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat anymore, so I'm going to have to log back on and find the messages if they're still there, and I'll put them up if they are. Okay, one second. My dog wants to get out. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Um... Oh, yeah. And he was like, oh, so you gotta send nudes. And I was like, nope. I'm, my morals just don't match with that, bro. Sorry. He was like, yeah, but you have to. So I sent him a nude lipstick. And he was like, that's not what he meant. Um, and I was like, bro, 
I base my beliefs off the Bible and because of that I just don't feel I don't feel good if I would do that I feel like that violates my morals my personal morals and and I was like if you don't take no as an answer then whatever I don't I don't really remember what it was anyways he blocked me which is good for him I don't I don't care just luckily it was at the end of the school year so didn't have to deal with the awkwardness during earth science freaking hate earth science that's a whole other discussion once quarantine is over I'm gonna have a make a video with my friend about that um but yeah the next I forgot about another moment wait I think this is 7th, 8th grade. Mom was pawing me. Yeah, 7th, 8th grade. I forgot about this. I was picking up um, from preschool, from her pre-K. There's this group of I, I remember what I was wearing again. I was wearing um, a black Nike shirt. I think it was Nikes. Maybe it was Adidas. I don't remember. Um, and I was wearing leggings. Um, and they were like patterned, like, you know, leggings that little kids would wear. Because. Um, and this group of boys, they were like older than me. Not too much older. I think they're like probably three old, three, three years older. It was like ten of them. And they were just like looking at me, very noticeably at my butt, with my four-year-old sister next to me. And there's this one guy who was like, "You gotta show some respect," but then he smirked at me. So I would have appreciated it if it wasn't for you know brownie points, but it clearly was for brownie points. Sorry. Then this happened in ninth grade. I remember this. I was with Nika. I was walking the dog. It was winter. I remember what I was. I have a picture of it somewhere. I'll insert it because I remember. I, because I remember. I, I, I was like, I was so shocked that I like immediately texted my friend. I was like, bro, this is what I was wearing, and I still got catcalled. Yuck. I was wearing like three sweaters, and on that. Um, I think like a jacket vest and I was wearing like two pants, pairs of pants. So I was very, very, very covered. I was walking my dog with uh, Nika and um, not cat cold. And then I haven't been cat called on for a while, which is good. And then today and the other day when I was wearing these pants, the same thing happened. I feel like I'm saying, I don't know. This is just very degrading. not very nice especially when most of the stuff that happened was when I was in middle school and uh, kind of yucky I don't know oh I skipped the parts at some 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 stuff some like actual not nice stuff. Yeah, so my video got cut off for a moment because um, Henry called me. Um, 
Yeah, and I told him about all that stuff. It's, he brought up a good point that you wouldn't want your daughter to be treated that way, but yet they treat other women like that. I'm sorry. Um, I guess I'm gonna end this video here. Hopefully I'll upload it today. Today being the 23rd of June 2020. I think it's the 23rd. Yeah. Okay. Till next time. Bye bye.